Run. Hey, what's up guys, Rajangat Singh here and I welcome you all in today's very new cool exciting tutorial. So let's get started. And this is how I shot this video. Now let's bring this clip in After Effects. Here we will go to the frame where our actor, uh, that's me, where our actor turns around and starts to move for knocking the door. Yes, on this frame, he's about to start to move for knocking the door. And here I'll duplicate my layer. So we'll trim this clip from the left and now move this playhead slider forward to the frame where actor leaves the frame. Yes, here. And here we will trim this clip from the right side. Now press T from the keyboard and lower the opacity to 50% so that we can see both our clips. Now we need to adjust the upper clip so that the timing of knocking the door and opening the door should be perfect. Nice. Turn back the opacity to 100%. And here we need to rotoscope our actor from this top layer. So double click on this layer and grab this roto brush tool and start rotoscoping. I have already rotoscoped and it should look like this. And if you want to learn rotoscopy in detail, just click on the I button in the top right corner. Okay, so now we'll go to the first frame of this roto layer and just remember this frame in your mind. Just remember this scene, exact scene in your mind. Okay, so now move forward, find the same frame in the bottom layer. Yes, this is the same frame. As we need the same frames to loop our video. Now press page up button from the keyboard to go one frame backward until this frame will trim our comb to work area. Now pre-compose these layers and hit OK. Now here press Ctrl K or Command K from the keyboard, increase the duration of the clip depending on how many times you want to repeat your clip. So let's increase it randomly. And here I'll duplicate my layer to 4 to 5 times and move the layer one after the other. We can add side boundaries also. And also after adding the real camera shake effect, we are done. So that's all for now guys, I hope you guys have learned and enjoyed this cool technique of making the loop VFX video. And still if you have any questions or suggestions, just write them below in the comment section. And please do like this video, share this video, comment on this video and subscribe this channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Run.